Hey guys, my name is Danielle. You can call me Danny and welcome to my channel. Today it is the fourth and final part of reconstructing my beauty room series. I know it's been a while <laughs> and trust me, it's been very long overdue. <laughs> I don't even know what to say anymore because literally I think I've been doing this for two months now. It's about to be the end of uh may i started this in the begin or actually towards the end of march march april yeah i ended yeah that sounds that sounds right <laughs> but yes the room is finally finished i have everything where i want it to be everything organized and i'm ready to show you guys and i'm excited to show you guys what my finished setup looks like and how things are gonna be looking like from now on. And I'm super excited, I feel so motivated and I'm super excited to keep on doing this again and like more in depth. Cause as you guys know, I was doing a lot of pre-filming. So a lot of that stuff was like filmed a long time ago, but now I'm ready to really dive in again and sort of do things in the now. So let's go ahead and get started guys. All right, so first I'm gonna flip you guys around so you're not gonna be able to see the face for a little bit, <laughs> but you guys are gonna get a full tour of the room and yeah, I'm, I hope you're excited to see it. So let's go. All right, so here is my doorway. As we walk in, you can see the far wall. You turn over here and actually this is the whole background slash storage area. So in my videos from now on, you will be seeing sort of this whole background type situation going on along with this as well depending where I place the camera. So uh, over here I have my Cata Beauty palettes and then I have some large Juvia's Place palettes, some large Makeup Revolution palettes, uh, my Jeffree Star palettes or Jeffree Star Cosmetics I should say <laughs> and then my Lunar Beauty palettes as well. Then, right here, I have this little display. This is the Coach and Sephora collection brush set stand and things like that. And it came with these rings and stuff. And I mostly just use it as decor. I know these brushes. Um, yes, I just bought it for decor, okay? <laughs> I don't plan on actually using these brushes, but they are really beautiful. And I thought they would look really pretty as a background decor. Then, I have my... Jeffree Star Cosmetics and Shane Dawson collab pig display thing here. Then that is sitting on top of this acrylic dresser here. And in these are all of my liners. So in this first drawer, these ones are gonna be all of my glitter liners. And then the one right next to it is gonna be my crayon black liners. Right below that one are my opened and uh, stamped black liquid liners. Next to that one are my black uh, unopened liquid liners. Under that one are my unopened colored liquid liners. And then next to that one is my open colored liquid liners. And I put the glitter ones in there. Sorry if you can hear rustling in the background. That's Grace. Just, I don't know what she's doing. <laughs> and then underneath that one, I have my open colorful gel liner pencils. So those are all in there. And then underneath that <laughs> are my unopened and still new um, gel and pencil liners. So next over here, are all of my Profusion palettes, or the like bigger palettes I should say. And yeah, they're just displayed here. Behind them are just like some other ones. So I have like my Maxi palettes from Makeup Revolution. I have my One Morphe palette that I own. And then I have this Kai Beauty palette. Then over here are some just like nice boxes that I have for decor. These two are like my first PR slash like gift boxes that I have ever gotten from Elf and Estee Lauder. Uh, they're really sentimental to me because I love Elf having it been like a huge like 
supporter of them for years and Estee Lauder was one of my first um, introductions to makeup because I started using them when I was in show choir and stuff like that and yeah so those two are very uh, special to me then I just have like this Sephora gift box here just because I thought it looked cute then I have this Manny MUA and uh, Jeffree Star Cosmetics collab box and then I have this Jeffree Star Blue Blood Lip Palette thingy. <laughs> and then right here is actually my first highlighter palette that I've ever finished, uh, like completely from Lancome. And I, that's also pretty sentimental to me. Um, so I decided to keep it. <laughs> I know, it's weird, I'm sorry. In the Also in like display and background, I have this sign here that says Shine. I got it from either TJ Maxx or Home Goods. Um, that one says, but first makeup. I got that one from Marshalls. Choose your weapon, Marshalls. But first makeup, Marshalls. <laughs> Lash out, Marshalls. But first makeup, TJ Maxx. Uh, lipsticks, glitter. I think that one was also TJ Maxx. Rise and Shine. I'm pretty sure that one was TJ Maxx too. Wake Up and Makeup, I'm pretty sure that one was Marshalls. And then this little one says, don't let today be a waste of makeup. That one is from Rue 21. <laughs> so headed back over here to the bigger set of drawers. Uh, I have these two pens. These are my work pens. So this one is a cute little heart with the lips. And then this one has my pronouns, she and her. Then we'll go into this first drawer. These hold my mascaras. In this first section, it has all of my full-size black mascaras. In this one, it has my minis. Um, I wanna say all colored mascaras, because I think, although I don't have a lot of mini colorful ones, a uh, majority of these are black, but I do think I put them in here too. So all of these are mini slash travel size mascaras. Then next to them, I have my mascara primers. I don't have a bunch, but I do have a nice little collection going. Then next to them, I have all of my colorful mascaras from all sorts of brands and things like that. So yeah, those are the mascaras. Right next to my, oh, of course. <laughs> right next to my mascaras, I have my brow products. So in this first one here are my brow pencils. These are gonna hold pretty much all types of brow pencils pencils from high end and low end these are my brow gels colored ones i should say because next to them are my clear ones and then next to the clear gels i have my pomades i have a lot of pomades i like thick brows so pomades are my favorites <laughs> then in this section here are all of my in use pencils right now so these are the ones that are currently in use and that need to be used up and stuff like that and then right next to them are all of my eyeshadow primers. And yes, I have a lot for someone who only has two small eyelids. <laughs> then right under those is my drawer that holds my high-end palettes. I noticed that I really don't have a lot of high-end palettes actually. Um, and you know, I'm okay with that honestly because I'm a very colorful person and honestly not a lot of colorful eyeshadows come from high-end palettes so i have that little handful there and then my little minis here then on the other side i have my low-end palettes and as you can see that one is a lot more full and i have my j cat beauties here my elf minis there I have BH Cosmetics from here back, all of these from here and forward. Literally this whole section here is Makeup Revolution and sister brands of them. And then these are just like some random brands and then my minis as well. Then underneath my colorful ones, I have my eyelashes. <laughs> I have a lot of eyelashes for someone who only has two eyeballs. <laughs> and I don't know, I'm addicted. <laughs> so all of these here are Ioni lashes. These ones are from a brand called, what's it called again? Batty Lash, Batty, Batty B Lashes. And 
I have yet to try those, so those ones are cool. I had these diamond lashes. These ones are, what's it called? Sheen lashes, Violet Boss. Uh, let's see, these ones are, I honestly don't remember. I think those ones are e.l.f. <laughs> these ones are House of Lashes, Eye Lore. Uh, let's see, <laughs> Lily Lashes, Velour, Pure. All of these ones are Ardell, this whole section. And then this whole section here are Kiss Lashes. And then I have all of my eyelash glues here. Then in the lash drawer right next to it, hold all of my sort of like singles slash glitter eyes shadows, I guess you could say, or liquids or whatever. <laughs> so over here I have all of my like back stock slash ones that need to be like in use or haven't been opened yet. And then over here are ones that I have sorted that have been opened. So like here are the Milani's. I have Marc Jacobs and Too Faced here. I have Flower Beauty in a sense here. I have my uh, glitter glues here, LA Colors and my Starlets there. And then all down here are my Stila's. And then here is like a random of like Wet n Wild, Maybelline liquids there. Here are all of my pot glitters. So, and these ones are just random brands. And then these ones are like circular pigments and glitters here. And yeah, and then these ones are like glitter palettes and stuff like that. Moving on to the next set of drawers. On top are all of my lipsticks. And then a set of liquid lipsticks, which I'll show in a second. In this side, it holds all of my like big, colorful collection ones. So as you can see, I have all of my Sephora collection ones here, my Almay's, and then down here, I just have like little bundles of others. And then I also have my Jeffree Star liquid lipstick back socks here. And then I have like some Pures and my Jeffree Star cosmetics ones here. I also have Fenty Beauties here. Then I also have my NYX Cosmetics ones here, or Professional Makeup, I'm sorry, I always get that mixed up. <laughs> NYX Professional Makeup here. Then I have my Flower Beauty here. My, I think these ones are Laura Mercier, if I remember correctly. Yep, these ones are Laura Mercier. And then I think, yeah, these ones are all just Laura Mercier. These ones are Maybelline, more Fenty, Morphe, and Marc Jacobs. These ones are Paracone MD, and then Huda Beauty right there. So all of these are like my big colorful ones. I almost forgot my Sparkly Pure and Barbie collection lipsticks. And then also the Singular Makeup Forever Diamond Lipstick. Then on this one here holds all of my MAC lipsticks. I know. <laughs> it's extra <laughs> and then so I have them separated by like the formulation as you can see so like the shiny containers are in the back the more matte velvet finish in the front and then like the limited edition collections are in the front front and then down here are my back socks of the ones that I already have up here then in the back hold my Clinique uh, Urban Decay and Shiseido brands so there's those ones. I like these ones back here because these ones, especially the Clinique, are more of like my neutrals and I don't really have a lot of neutrals so I like to keep them displayed where I know I can find them easily. Then in this little roundabout, just kind of has like my random ones that I just have like a handful from a certain brand, not like a full blown ones like I have on this side. So up here you can see I have some Milk Makeup, a uh, ColourPop, some KVD, Anastasia, and then on this side are all my e.l.f. ones from like different formulations, all of my Wet n Wild, my Winky Lux, uh, Makeup Revolution, uh, Ulta Beauty, and then these ones are all of my Lipstick Queens. Then right in front of that hold all of my high-end luxury brands. So I have my Pat McGrath up front, I have my Charlotte Tilbury Mini, Goulon, 
a Dior Lancome, more Dior. I should actually switch these, hold on. We're gonna see it right hand. <laughs> and then my YSL is back there. Then right dab in the middle is my Jeffree Star Cosmetics display. It holds all of my Jeffree Star Cosmetics liquid lipsticks from the minis to the one of the holiday collections to his normal formulation to the what's it what was it the blood the red blood collection or something and then the Shane Dawson collection and also the Manny Amu Wake collection and then in the back are all of my Wet n Wild liquid lipsticks because I did find out that these are the same uh, circular end as the Wet n Wild ones so there is that then in the first drawer hold all of my other liquid lipsticks so over here I have my elves over here I have Ulta and Colourpop here are all of my NYX then I have L'Oreal and Maybelline in this one I have like a handful of assortments like flower hard candy perfusion others then over here I have NARS and Dior in here I have Clinique Lime Crime and Dose of Colors and here are my Anastasia Beverly Hills and Stila's over here are all of my Fenty's and then right here are just like another random assortment of like Mac Buxom and then my Too Faced one next drawer hold all of my access lips so over here are like lip balms chapsticks type situations these ones are tinted lip balm so these ones have like a slight tint to it that might sort of add some color to my lips these ones are also balms slash oils that have tints into them these two are all just lip oils i have an obsession with lip oils so i have a lot of those <laughs> I, I honestly prefer lip oils over lip balms but I still have like a plethora of all of them <laughs> then over here are my colorful glosses these ones are literally just like really bold colors and stuff like that these ones are my neutral glosses so like these are like pinky nudes gold nudes things like that these ones are my lip stains so I have all these lip stains from the balm then I actually have my lip crayons and lip pencils here I don't have a lot but I do have you know them here just in case I ever want to use them and then in this one here are actually all of my lip plumpers so I have those separated from my normal glosses then the next drawer is my FX makeup so these ones are all um, what's what's the word like cream color palettes these are cream pots more cream pots a little bit of glitter these are effects adhesives these are colorful liners here i have body glitters body paints and then in the next drawer are more of like the accessories so over here are all of my sort of gems and tattoos these are little crowns and things like that these are uh, adhesives and fake blood i have more fake blood here uh, glue sticks hair temporary hair dye and some body glitter and stuff in this one as well moving on to the next and final dresser on top i have all of my foundations and this side holds all of my low end slash drugstore ones and then on this half also holds some more low end and drugstore and then from the beauty blenders on over are all of my high-end and luxury ones so yes i know i have an a plethora amount of beauty blenders i bought most of them from i think marshall's it was and you know i'm not that person to test them in store so i just grabbed the ones that i thought would be the one closest to my shade <laughs> and yeah now i just have a bunch of those but the rest of these are just a bunch that i've gotten gifted i bought 10 and just things like that so i'm really excited for those and that's how i have them displayed then i just have like a little empty wall there but that's okay because you guys really don't see this side on camera 
Then in the first drawer here, hold my concealers. I have them set where these are the low end and drugstore concealers. And then these ones are the ones that have been opened already. Then in this little section here are my color correctors. I have the liquid formula and then my pot formula here. These are unopened high end concealers. These are opened high end concealers. And then over here are my pressed powdered foundations. Then in the next drawer down below, I have all of my powders. So here I put like my mini slash travel size. And then laying down here, I have the ones that I can just like see the name because if I place them like this, I can't really tell which ones are which because they all look the same. Like for instance, this. Like if you see it on there, you're not gonna know which one's which. So I dedicated the whole drawer to the powders so I could lay them like this. And then I laid up some of them like this so I can see them because I have like a bunch of like my Laura Mercier and milk. I do have some more of my Jeffree Star ones, but those ones are still in the mail. So this one can stay like that. And then I have these unopened ones that I will keep like this where I can see their names. The next drawer under that one are my bronzers. I have it separated where over here are my low end and drugstore bronzers, high end bronzers and luxury bronzers here. I have my palettes here and then cream and liquids here. I also have like jelly creams here as well. And then these ones are just like my bulky <laughs> bronzers. Underneath my bronzers, I have blushes. <laughs> I think blushes is probably one of my largest sections of my makeup collection. I have all of my palettes here. <laughs> and then I have my liquids here. These this one holds my liquids here and then i have some sticks here i have all of my milk sticks there i have potted creams here uh some more potted creams here that just didn't fit on that side and then these this like whole section back here and right here are my low ends and then from right here and then this whole section here are my high end blushes the final drawer is my highlighter drawer over here are my high-end and luxury highlighters over here hold my low-end and drugstore over here hold my minis and like little babies <laughs> over here are all my palettes and then just a random <laughs> big bulky one that won't fit over here with my other low-end ones then i have my chunky palette or my chunky what's it called like highlighter things whatever <laughs> and then i have my liquid and stick highlighters and then right here are my loose highlighters as well my intermission hi beautiful oh my goodness you say hi you say hi to everyone oh my goodness she just wants attention <laughs> Oh, here comes the other one. Look at my babies. They just want attention. <laughs> All right, now we are moving to my big stand over here. Um, this section here hold all of my uh, like bigger face palettes. So I have them sorted to the sizes. So, and yeah, they, they're not in order by low end or high end or anything. They're literally ordered by the size of them. So I can see them all. Then down here, I also have some more of like the smaller ones. These ones are also just sorted out by how big they are. So as you can see, they are placed where I am able to see them. Then down here, I have my backups of my hand sanitizers and my hand lotions. And then down here are my brush cleaner stuff. Not really exciting there. <laughs> then this is the wall where you first look as you walk into my beauty room. That one is just a lashes set. That one I got from Marshalls. This one, Lipstick and Hustle, I think I got this one from TJ Maxx. Now these two, I actually made myself. I really love this liquid lipstick one that I made. Not really fond of the concealer one just yet, but if you can see here, I sort of just 
kind of like tested all of my liquid lipsticks and I put what brand it's from and what the name of it is and I really like that. Then I have my concealers there and then I have this little palette. I thought it was cute. It kind of reminded me of like just lipstick swatches and I got this one from Five Below. Then right under that I have this cart here. This first little section here holds all of my makeup remover balms and cleansers and things like that. Then on the other side hold my backups of all of my face sprays and like face primers. Bless you. <laughs> and then down here, I just have like this random thing of pens in case I need to write something down. <laughs> and then I have a random it cosmetics brush and a Sona Kosa like huge blender that I never use. <laughs> And then I have all of my MAC empties in here for when I'm gonna do back to MAC. Then I have all of my nail polish in here. Uh, one of these holds my fake nails and the other one holds like nails accessories and like nail files and things like that. And then down here, I just have my FX brushes. Now, moving along, I just have this extra lamp here just in case I wanna film like during nighttime or anything, add a little light. This is a makeup bag from Ulta Beauty. And this is when I used to do like freelance work. And of course, you know, now because of the pandemic, I don't really do freelance anymore, but you know, in case I ever want to again, it's there. Then I have this cute bag and it does have some like pins and stuff. And yeah, <laughs> that's just because it like matches like the theme of my room. Then this one over here is where I keep my sort of, I swear I organized my future videos. So as you can see, um, <laughs> this is definitely a future video to see. That one is also a future video getting ready to be filmed. This one is also one that's getting ready. This one as well. And this one is just like gonna be like over time. <laughs> but yeah, so those are like sneak peeks on videos to come. And that is where I set those at. Then there's this little wall here because be like behind this wall is gonna be my closet. So I just have a sign that I made. It says she believed she could, so she did and I love it. And then it just has like a bun, like this big like gold lips that my mom gave me and I love it. <laughs> so then before we move to this side, we're gonna move over here to my closet. Nothing special over here. Um, I just have a trash bag here. <laughs> and then let me turn on the light so it's like not so dark here. So up there I have my giveaway box. I know, look how smaller it got. Cause I've been doing, I did some giveaways earlier so now I need to like start filling that up again but that is my giveaway box over here are all of my backdrops as you guys can remember them from few not future from past videos <laughs> and then here are just like where I keep my little pinchers to hold up the backdrop this is just an empty box don't know what I'm gonna use that for this is a mirror that I take traveling with me for when I do my makeup. Then, uh, then underneath there, I have my lotions. Uh, I just put them randomly there. They used to be over where my like hand sanitizer and stuff were, but they were just taking up too much space. So I just put them in here. And yeah, then I have a bunch of extra organizers right here. I have some extra lights and um what they call freelance makeup stuff that i used to use and stuff in there then over here is where i have my backdrop holder over here are my traveling bags for either freelancing or when i travel to places and then this box actually holds things that uh, didn't work for me and I have used and things like that. So they're gonna go to my friends and family and stuff. I just set things in here. And then whenever my friends and family come visit me, they just go through this and then they take what they want. It's pretty empty right now because my mom just recently came by and took a bunch of stuff. So it's pretty empty now, but trust me, it will be full pretty soon. 
and then I have an extra stand right here to use whenever I want to film outside of the beauty room because you will understand why in a second. We have come to the actual filming setup and first of course you guys know my lovely uh, audience up here. All of these bears are <laughs> really close to me. I love them and I have had them for years or I have recently got them from friends and family and whatnot so they just stay up there and then whenever I get one I just sort of add it to the audience. <laughs> uh, over here is just a string light that I just like to keep up there. Over here now I know you guys have seen this in a lot of my videos where I used to <laughs> A video right there and I got this little peace sign uh, when I first uh, went dumpster diving with my dad <laughs> and I know it sounds weird but like my me and my dad went to a like college dorm or whatever and they were just throwing out a bunch of stuff. And I used to be like super into like rainbows and peace signs and stuff back then when I was younger. And I saw this and, I, it, and I've always kept it because it was like super special to me. Not only because like it was like the first time me and my dad like bonded together, but yeah. And then <laughs> I have this also this little like twirly thing with my star name on it. This was from my last show choir competition and yeah uh, at the competitions they like to put your names on stuff when they decorate the rooms for you and i took it home because it was the last one and i wanted something to remember it by <laughs> and then right here i know it's dead don't <laughs> don't come for me but this is my uh whatchamacallit the corset thingy is no that's not what it's called that thing you put on your wrist when you go to prom <laughs> this is one that i got for when I took my best buddy to prom. And then this one is another one that I took to, that actually my best buddy gave to me when we went to the best buddies prom. So I have two of those, those are really special to me. And then I have this cute little Marc Jacobs bag that I just put right here. Cause I don't know, I didn't know where else to put it. So I just thought it looked cute right there. <laughs> then over here are all of my light setups. Yeah, <laughs> I have two of the box lights there and then I have my ring light there. It's really easy. I set everything up here so then it's easier to unplug and stuff like that. And then it would be easier for me to like reach these, turn them on and off. And yeah, I have them set up so it's easier for me to reach. So now this is the reason why I have another tripod is because this one I want to keep there that way I don't have to keep moving the lights from moving this out and about whenever I want to film somewhere else in the house or outside of the house so that one stays and the one in my closet is the one that I take out with me then over here are all of my brushes <laughs> I reorganize them and stuff and yeah so you can basically just tell like which brushes are which and then over here are all of my blenders i have them organized by brands and stuff so like over here are all my real techniques and this one i have i don't remember what holds these ones i think these ones are just like random non-brands that i use for powders these ones are uh like drugstore brands that yeah <laughs> and then these ones are my actual beauty blender ones and then all my brushes this one holds all of my setting sprays and then uh, sort of my in-use face sprays as well but majority of it is just setting sprays down here holds my makeup removers i have a plethora of makeup removers i know but the majority of them are biodegradable ones i have switched over to biodegradable makeup wipes now i know it's still not the best thing for the environment but it's a lot better than regular makeup wipes and i use makeup wipes because i do like swatches and things like that so i do have this whole thing of biodegradable ones these ones i've always had and i just need to go through them so i don't have them anymore and yes don't support that brand but uh that's there <laughs> and then these are my makeup wipe towels thingies <laughs> over here in the corner 
I have my basket for my dirty wipes and then I have my recycle bin right there then on the other side I have this little basket here that hold all my go back makeup so like whenever I'm doing my makeup for a video or for work or anything like that I just put it in that basket to remind me to put them back into my drawers here is my trash right here are my dirty brushes and then right here are my empties then we go on to the actual desk and then we are almost done hi guys <laughs> don't look at me <laughs> so uh right here hold my sort of like everyday color type of lip liner so i have reds pinks uh like brown nudes and pinky nudes then in this one hold all my colorful ones so i have blues and greens purples pinks red orange and yellow in here or like orange and yellow i should say because this one's actually red then over here is going to be where my makeup my everyday makeup is going to be displayed but i haven't done my everyday makeup update yet so that's there i do have these ones though so i have my fenty powder here that i've been using recently i have my elf spray makeup uh, mark jacob spray and then my pacifica one I also have my Anastasia hydrating oil, my milk grip primer there as well. I have this little packet of wipes that I set here to remind myself to put in my purse. So I have some travel makeup wipes. And then I have two sets of mirrors right here. I have a little drink setter there, coaster. <laughs> I forgot what it was called for a second. I have all my headbands here. They always fall out whenever I just take one out, but there's that. I have a makeup wipe set there, my makeup remover balm here, some pins to hold back my hair, my pencil sharpeners, some eyelashes, and then here is my chair. Yes, that is a Sephora simple chair. Then I have a nice little comforter sit there because you know I can sit here for hours. <laughs> then this is what's inside of my makeup desk so over here are my miscellaneous primers here are pore fillers these two are and sort of like color corrector ones this one are my sort of just like sensitivity primers because sometimes when i wear makeup for like long periods of time for a long amount of days uh, my face gets a little sensitive and sometimes if i don't really see the ingredient list too well sometimes when either foundations or primers or setting sprays and stuff like that have lavender oil and i have allergic reaction to it i use these ones to cool down my face um, to help reduce that then i have my what's it gripping primers and also my oils here here I have my little baby primers <laughs> and then I have my packing sponge, my in-use lashes. Then I just have these jars here in case like something happens to like any primers, foundations or whatever and then I need to transfer them over to a little package. I have this little set of makeup removers that I've never used but have them just in case. Then in this huge section here are all of my hydrating primers. Yes. This whole section dedicated just to hydrating primer because you guys know my skin is dehydrated. <laughs> and then this is just like a bunch of miscellaneous. So yeah, that is the desk. Then the last wall is this right here. You guys really don't see this wall, but over here I have just a pair of lips that I got from Dollar Tree. This is a lanyard that has a bunch of pins that I got from work. This Hello Gorgeous sign, I think I got it from Rue 21. And then I have this Manny MUA sign, or picture I just say that was signed by Manny MUA. We'll keep it forever, love it. Um, I think I got it, oh, and when he was doing his one mystery box type thing a few years ago, so I got that. And then I have these beautiful signs that I got from Dollar Tree as well, sort of just to like add a little more aestheticness to the room. And then I just have these nice little brushes here that I know for sure I got from TJ Maxx. 
And then I also have that bag there from Benefit that has some sunglasses from both Tarte and Bare Minerals and then a little ribbon from MAC as well. So yeah, that is the room, guys. So that is the end of part four of reconstructing my beauty room, guys. Please let me know what you think down below. Are you excited as I am to finally be more organized and especially about this new background guys are you guys really excited about that i've been really inspired by other uh i want to i don't want to say makeup youtubers because you know you guys know i'm not concerning myself as the beauty community i just am danny and i'm here <laughs> so i was just inspired by other youtubers to use like a natural background instead of using backdrops but i will continue to use backdrops if ever like I just get a little bored or want to spice things up a little bit so yeah guys i'm really excited and i can't wait to see uh the more content and more videos that we produce together all right guys thank you so much for watching if you like this video and like this series please make sure to give it a big thumbs up down below so i know and if you're not already subscribe to my channel i post every friday and let's see leave a comment down below on a video that you want to see like it can be anything literally from anything to makeup, to vlogs, to shopping, to hauls, to literally anything that you wanna see me do, leave a comment down below, okay guys? I really wanna hear you guys' feedback. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you so, so, so much. And I will see you next Friday.